Whew. I can see three minutes on the clock. That's the end of one circuit. Hey, Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic, and I got a really tough workout for y'all today. This is called a three minute body weight only fat burning workout. Now guys, no equipment is needed. That means no excuses for not being able to do it. All right, you can do this at the office if you can close your door or find some place by yourself. You can do this while you're traveling on vacation, and of course, you can do it at home, okay? So, there's gonna be a couple of different caveats uh, in this workout today so that beginners can do it and advanced people can do it. Exact same workout, just with a minor tweak. It's super simple to do. But before I get to the workout itself, and I'm gonna explain more about why it's a fat burning workout, I wanna remind you guys of our Facebook group. So guys, fantastic free resource for everybody. Check out the link below this video. We got over 13,000 people around the world, guys in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Uh, I'm the moderator, so I'm on there every single day asking or answering questions and, and posting videos. And of course, all the guys in the group are there helping motivate and inspire each other. So it's, it's, it's a great group of guys. It's really, really fun. It's free, right? So there's no reason not to give it a try. Okay, so today's workout is not designed to be kind of a nice, slow, steady state cardio workout program. This is more of a high intensity interval training deal, okay? So guys, what I've, I've done is I've given you six exercises. I'm gonna demonstrate each exercise, okay, and show you the form. And then I'm gonna go through the full three minute circuit, okay, without stopping. So this is what we're gonna do. Each exercise, you're just gonna do it for 30 seconds. And then for you advanced guys that are already in pretty decent shape, I want you to just move to the very next exercise out of the list. There's, remember, there's six of them. We do each for 30 seconds, hence the three minute workout. Now for guys who are beginning or maybe intermediate and your cardio just really isn't there yet, real simple. You do it the same way, 30 seconds for each exercise. But instead of going immediately to the next exercise with no rest, just stop, all right, catch your breath. 10, 15, 20 seconds, all right? Then move on to the next exercise, all right? So when you get through the end of all six exercises, that's one circuit, all right? So for you beginners out there, I want you to do three circuits. Now at the end of the circuit, that's when you can stop and catch your breath for a minute or two if you need to, all right? The advanced guys, you're not gonna need to catch your breath for all that long at the end of a circuit, all right? So beginners, I want you to do three complete circuits, and for the more advanced guys, do six complete circuits. Now guys, one of the benefits of doing it the way I just described is it turns it into a high intensity workout as opposed to a steady state cardio, okay, workout. And when you do a high intensity, okay, that's an anaerobic, workout, meaning we're, we're doing it without oxygen. Well, yeah, we're breathing, but we're not getting as much oxygen to our muscles as they need to continue to do the exercise for a long period of time, okay? So hence, you're gonna have to stop because you're gonna, you're gonna be without oxygen, all right, in a, in a short amount of time. But when we work out with that intensity and that method, it triggers our body to do something. It's called the EPOC effect. It's called the excess post-exercise oxygen <laughs> consumption, all right? And anyway, studies show that when you work out really, really hard like this and push yourself, all right, to exhaustion, and you just can't keep up with the oxygen demand, hence the, the high intensity interval, okay? It sends signals to your brain, all right? And it tells your brain that you need to ramp up your natural production of testosterone. And the cool thing about that is, not only does it help build muscle, but when you have higher levels of testosterone, it also makes your body much more efficient at using fat stores as a source of energy instead of going straight to just carbohydrates as a source of energy. So what the nice thing about EPOC, and, and another way of thinking of EPOC is there's a simple layman's term called, called the afterburn effect, meaning after the workout is over, hours later sometimes, you're still burning more calories than you otherwise would because you've ramped up 
your resting metabolic rate and it stays ramped up. Now, yeah, your heart rate's come back down. Yeah, your breathing has come back down to normal, but, but for several hours after the workout, your metabolism is still burning more calories than if you'd done, you know, the old fashioned steady state, you know, kind of slow cardio type, type of workout. So not only do you burn more calories, okay, over the long run, when you do this kind of workout, you burn more calories in the short run and it's, it's a lot more time efficient. All right, so guys, if, if you're only doing three circuits, you know, that's only about 10 minutes total, all right? The advanced guys, maybe 15 to 20 minutes total. So it's still not a lot of time. And to burn that many calories, doing steady state cardio, you'd probably have to work out for 45 minutes or an hour. So this is way more time efficient. Okay, guys, so let me just read out the six exercises real quick in the order I want you to do them. And there is a reason I picked this order, all right? <laughs> and you'll notice, all right, the first one is jumping jacks real straightforward. Push-ups also real, for, real straightforward. Everybody knows how to do that. Then you're going to do something called ski jacks. I'll show you the form in just a minute. Then we're going to get back down the floor. We're going to do plank shoulder taps. Then we got to stand up and we're going to do standing knee to elbows and then back down the floor for the final exercise. And that's mountain climbers. All right. Now you're going to notice when we switch from one exercise to the next, I'm always having to either stand up or get back down on the floor. We never do two standing exercises in a row or two on the floor in a row. All right. Big pain in the butt, right? Well, that's why I did it. <laughs> All right. So jumping jacks, I'm not going to show you guys how to do that. And I'm not going to get down and demonstrate how to do push-ups. I assume everybody knows how to do that. Um, but ski jacks are a little different. All right. Ski jacks are kind of like jump lunges, but they're easier on your knees. All right, so this is how I want you to start on my ski jack. So left foot forward, right hand up, all right? And then you're gonna hop, kind of like you're running almost, but you're doing like a little baby lunge, all right? So jump lunges are, you go way down and you're going way down and you're going way down, all right? So ski hops are just kind of like a baby version of that. So it's just boom, boom. Boom, 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 all right? All right, and then plank shoulder taps. Most of you guys know how to do a plank shoulder tap, so we're just gonna get down, plank position, and we're just gonna rock from side to side and touch our shoulder with our off hand. Real straightforward. <laughs> then you gotta get back up and do standing knee to elbow, fingertips on your temples, cross over, Boom, boom, boom. So I want you to crunch your upper body down while you're lifting your knee up. You're gonna feel it in your core. And then mountain climbers, a lot of you guys know how to do this. This is probably my go-to exercise for all of you all that have bad knees and can't do things like butt kicks or running in place or jump lunges something like that, I have you substitute that cardio exercise that hurts you, that you can't do. Do it with mountain climbers instead because no stress on your knees at all. All right, so mountain climbers are just boom, boom. So mountain climbers is a horizontal version of high knees. So high knees would be running in place like this, right? Do that horizontal. You got a mountain climber, no stress on your lower back, no stress on your hips, and no stress on your knees. So those are the six exercises that make up one circuit. Now guys, remember, you're not counting reps here. This is just a time-based thing. So I'm gonna use a timer, a stopwatch on my phone. I'm just gonna hit go. I'm gonna put it on the floor where I can see it. And I'm going to do each exercise for 30 seconds. Once it gets to the 30 second mark, I'm just going to transition to the next exercise. Now, guys, that transition does take a few seconds, right? Two, three, four seconds. That's okay. That'll eat into the next exercise just a little bit, but it doesn't matter. So when it gets to 30 seconds, I switch. When it gets to a minute, I switch to the next exercise. When it gets to a minute 30, I go on to the next exercise. And that's it. Now for you beginners out there, remember, you may be out of breath and having to rest, all right? So you're gonna have to do a little math, all right? So if you're resting for say 15 seconds and you get to the 30 second mark, that means the next exercise starts at 
the 45 second mark. And you got to do that to the one minute 15 second mark, okay? So there's a little math going on there. However you want to do it is fine. You can look at your watch like this. I don't care. Figure out a way that's really easy for you, all right? So I'm going to hit the go. You can just follow along as I do one circuit here, guys. Now, I'm not going to be able to talk to you because this is tough. When you go from one to the next without resting in between, you're going to get really deprived of oxygen, all right? So at the end of this, I'm going to be bent over catching my breath. And that, of course, is cool because that's when I do want you guys to catch your breath at the end of a circuit. Give yourself some rest before you go to the next circuit. All right, here we go. We're starting off with 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Boom. Here we go. And I don't have to count how many, right? I'm just doing them and I'm just glancing down every once in a while, looking at my phone, checking out what the time is. Because after this, I gotta get down the floor and do push-ups for 30 seconds. Ready? So here we go. Nine thirty. Okay. Plank, shoulder taps. I can see three minutes on the clock. That's the end of one circuit. Now guys, it's gonna take me a while to catch my breath. And I expect when you start the second circuit, you're not gonna be fully rested, but I do want you to have mostly caught your breath before you start over. Otherwise, you're not gonna make it through, okay? And then guys, if you, fail, if you feel yourself starting to fail in the middle of a circuit, that's fine. All right, finish the exercise. Stop, catch your breath. Look at the chart, which is the next exercise. Get ready for it. And as soon as you can, start the next one in the list. So don't just stop all together. Make sure you get through all the circuits. The only variable that's gonna change is how long you have to rest in between the exercises and 
after each circuit because if you push yourself hard like I was nonstop, exercise to exercise, you're literally gonna create that epoch effect that's gonna keep your metabolism way higher than normal for many hours to come, which of course means you're gonna burn more calories, lose more fat, and then of course, that's also gonna drive up your testosterone. So guys, whew, fun workout. Not easy, but you're gonna feel great when you're done. And then if you stick with it and never give up on yourself, I promise these workouts are gonna really help you to burn a lot of fat.